Today's halacha, shaving, taking haircut in Chol HaMoed. The rabbis enact that every person needs to shave before Yom Tov. You gotta be, come to Yom Tov nice, clean. You gotta look good. You gotta shave, you gotta take an haircut. They were very concerned that people will say, don't worry, I'm too busy, it's Yom Tov, it's Erev Yom Tov, I'm busy, I'll do it right after Yom Tov. Therefore they enact that on Chol HaMoed, you're not allowed to shave. You're not allowed to take, her, to take haircut on Chol HaMoed. Unless you had a real emergency before, which is, if someone is in a veil, he's mourning, we just get up from the seven days of mourning, he's allowed to shave. Someone got out of Jiel Hashem Rachem, he's allowed to shave. Someone was in hospital, and then he got out of it, he's allowed to shave. But beside that, we are not allowed to shave in Chol HaMoed at all. Cutting nails, you're allowed to, because you're a Sephardi. If you're Ashkenazi, you're not allowed to. The Ramah rules that the custom is for Ashkenazim not to cut nails on Chol HaMoed. Tfilin, we don't put on Chol HaMoed. It's Keter, we have the crown of Keter Itnu Lecha. We don't put an additional crown on top. We don't put Tfilin. We don't do laundry on Chol HaMoed. We gotta be ready in advance. Make sure all of you close. Everything brought in advance to the dry clean, picked up from the dry clean in advance. And on Chol HaMoed, you're not allowed. Unless you have young kids, they need to, they intend to get the clothes dirty. Too often, you have no choice. You don't have enough clothes, you're allowed to. If you have towels that you need to wash, then you're allowed to. Some people have limited amount of underwear, might be also allowed to do the laundry. But it's better to buy more, to have enough in general. For more daily halacha, or if you have a halacha question, call 954-519-3939.